So guys, we have a great news. Antminer S19 Pro is already on our immersion cooling mining farm. Very soon we are going to set everything up and put it inside our liquid. So here you see our Antminer S17 installations. And here is Antminer S19. We also have some other new miners like Watts Miner and I will tell you about them in some of the next videos. So stay in touch. Hello guys, it's Alex Below from White Crypto Channel and I'm so happy to be back with you with a new video about very special unit. Today we are going to speak about Antminer S19 by Bitmain. And we have, a, like you have already seen, we already put it inside our immersion cooling liquid in this very small installation, which was specifically designed for kitchen. So it could be used in your flat on your kitchen. And now we have the newest ASIC inside it. So it is Antminer S19, as I already said to you. So guys, speaking about Antminer S19, at first I would really say that it is constructed many times better than any previous model of Bitmain. And we opened it, we checked it out, how it looks like, looks like inside. And yeah, the quality of the construction of this miner is much better and thank you Bitman company for, for that. So yeah, the ASIC is designed in a really different way from previous model and part S17 and we have one heat sink for all chips, not like in miners S17 where we had many heat sink for each chip and um, Another strength of this miner is that the power supply unit is many times stronger and we have enormous opportunities to overclock this AC just because of that. So just when we checked this miner um, before putting it inside in the, in the liquid, the power consumption was 3.3 kilowatts and as soon as we put it inside here then we got a better result so now we have 3.1 kilowatt and yeah so as soon as you use our immersion cooling system then you lower the amount of the electricity uh, spent rate so guys yes, let's turn to the hash rate and take a look on this new interface by Bitman what do you think about it? Leave a comment below the video. So the hash rate is here, you can see it. So it is uh, a bit higher than 110 terahash. And we really think that very soon we are going to create our overclocking firmware, which uh, will help us to reach 150 terahash. I'm not sure that that will be possible, but nevertheless, we will try and we will tell you about it as soon as we have some good result. No. Uh, the only problem is that Bitman did it best to prevent us to create and to use our own custom firmware to overclock this AC, but nevertheless, you know, as Russians, we can do everything. So very soon we will do our best to present you overclocking firmware and this hash rate will be really enormous just because of the PSU which is so strong. So we will probably have the hash rate up to 150 terahash. So let's believe in it and stay in touch with our channel and check our updates 
about Antminer S19. Very soon we are going to have more videos about what's miners of different models and maybe we will make a video comparing Antminer S19 with what's miner. So, goodbye guys. So here we go guys, take a look how many different things we have here. So there are Antminers S17, you have seen all of them quite many times. Another S17 immersion cooling system, FPGA and um, GPU inside this very special installation, and some other things like Antminer S19, which is already here. Like you have seen, we dropped it inside the liquid. Here we have another GPU and what's minor over there so you'll have pretty much new videos about ASICs how do they feel inside the liquid so we will make a lot of overuse of different ASICs and I hope you will really appreciate all of them